Hey, what's up guys? So it's been a crazy last week and a half just with the beginning of the school year. We've had a lot of high volume photo shoots going on and the 5D Mark IV came out and trying to test that thing and get some real world use out of it. And I'm almost completed with my full testing, but one of the things that I keep getting asked about is the ISO performance and the dynamic range. How much better is it? And I'm gonna tell you guys that as far as the ISO goes, it is very insignificant, the improvement. You know, if you zoom in one-to-one -one on your computer and you're looking at an ISO 6400 or 12,000 between the 5D Mark IV and the 5D Mark III, you're gonna see a little bit cleaner image with the 5D Mark IV. Even, you know, if you resize them, if you don't resize them, it just looks a little bit cleaner. The noise performance is a little bit better. I look at it this way. There's one of two ways that 99% of the people are ever gonna view my Im images. And that's either gonna be a web-sized image that's like, you know, 1000 by 1000 or whatever, which you're not gonna be able to tell the difference in the ISO performance between those two cameras on any day of the week at that kind of resolution. And the other way that people are ever gonna see my images is if they're printed. And so that's the way that I go about testing it. I, I did go in and zoom in at one-to-one -one and try to look around, but to me that really just doesn't matter because who does that in the real life? Does anybody ever look at your picture and go, oh, let me zoom in one-to-one -one and check for sharpness? Nobody does that. Most people don't even know how to do that. So I go through and I do a lot of prints and to test and, and see how everything looks. And here's the reality, guys. At ISO 6400, at ISO 12000, the differences are insignificant. I mean, they really are. I mean, yes, the 5D Mark IV has better re resolution and the ISO performance is a little bit better. But if you take a look at these and you're looking at these prints and these are cropped, I cropped them in just to go through and, you know, any possible uh, issues that might come up because a lot of us, you know, like for example, shooting sports, we may have to crop a high ISO image. And so I cropped these way in, I printed them and I'm looking at them and to be honest with you, at any kind of normal viewing distance, I cannot tell the difference between the two images at all. Now, if I get up here and I start studying it and I look in the blacks, I can see a little bit of a difference. And that's the only way I can tell. But who's going to ever look at your images like this to scrutinize them for noise? And that even then, the difference is insignificant. And I went through and I did lots of different images, lots of different samples and colors and things like that. And it was just consistent that I could not tell the difference. So if in print it's not going to make a difference, then and it's not going to make a difference at a web size image, who cares? But not trusting myself and my own testing methodologies, I went over to the imaging resource. I grabbed their high-res images and I printed them as large as I could at different ISOs between the 5D Mark III and the 5D 5D Mark III and the 5D Mark IV to compare them. And again, the differences are extremely insignificant. The 5D Mark IV images printed up at 13 by 19 do look just a slight bit sharper, but not enough that really would make any difference. Now, the improvement actually comes whenever you start talking about dynamic range. The 5D Mark IV does have quite a bit better dynamic range than the 5D Mark III. And you can see it not only in the prints, but you can see it, you know, whenever you're looking at them, even at web-sized images. I'll just show you guys a couple of samples that I printed up. You guys probably won't be able to tell by the actual prints on YouTube, um, but hopefully you guys will be able to see it whenever I show you guys the one-to-one -one samples here overlaid over the video. But you can see that the 5D Mark IV is just a little bit sharper. Um, these images were all underexposed by four stops and then brought back up in Lightroom. But you can see that the 5D Mark IV is, is just so much cleaner. The 5D Mark III has a lot of noise, a lot of graininess to it. Um, the 5D Mark IV, I think, also does a little bit better job of keeping the colors replicated and the darks dark. And, you know, with the 5D Mark III, you just start to see a lot of color noise and some purple kind of creeping into the shot, and it just looks bad. So when you guys look at these, if you guys notice that maybe on one image, the image doesn't look completely tack sharp, that's more of a focusing issue than a camera issue or a focusing issue on my part. Unfortunately, the, the shot looked tack sharp and in focus whenever I took these images and uh, it wasn't necessarily the case whenever I got away in there and magnified it. I mean, there's a slight focusing issue that's apparent just because this is such a heavy crop on these images. I'm not a scientist. I'm not sitting here trying to do a scientific test on this. This is just a real world, you know, normal average guy. I wanted to see how well this thing performs. And this is what I came up with in, you know, an hour in my office of snapping these kinds of shots. 
is that real world for noise performance, 5D Mark IV is better, but nobody's going to ever notice the difference. And in terms of dynamic range, it is a noticeable difference, but it's not a huge leap forward. Unfortunately, I think that right now, even though Canon's pretty much closed that gap with the other uh, camera companies on dynamic range, I think by the end of the year, they're going to fall right back behind because everybody's getting ready to release new stuff. And that Sony A99 Mark II sounds pretty darn awesome right now. But overall, guys, I, I can tell you I haven't finished my, my entire review on the 5D Mark IV just yet, but it's a very impressive camera. It, it's not a slouch. It's definitely worthy of an upgrade if you need a camera, but I think that there are other options that are going to be coming down the line, unfortunately, for Canon that I think are just going to be more practical and make more sense and are just going to be better cameras in the short term. So I uh, hope that helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions about this or anything else, leave me a comment below and look out for my full review on the 5D Mark IV that will be out in just a couple of days.